Welcome back. I'm sure that many of you, I know it's happened to me, we've gone and gotten our hair done only to walk out completely disappointed. Well, that's what happened to this young lady who wasn't really happy with the new color or cut. She says the color was faded, the cut was flat. So, was there a solution? Please help me welcome Tony Miller, hairstylist at Reflection Salon, along with his assistant, Michelle. Welcome to the show. Yeah. You guys were the solution. <laughs> yeah. That happened, right? Yeah. Okay, so you received this email, Tony, yeah. um, and, and it's, it sounded like this lady was yeah. a little bit panicked. Yeah, she yeah. was very panicked, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? And she was mad, too, because mm -hmm. I have any... Uh, yeah, that happens, then, you know. If I'm going to volunteer to fix it, you know, I could be the second husband. <laughs> I could get the, you know, yeah, yeah. killed on. But it's because of we know about all these things. And mm -hmm. I'm an experienced stylist. Mm -hmm. That means that I have made all those mistakes. And we've talked that's about how, this. That's what it is. That's what, that's what gives you the experience because yeah. yes. you've made mistakes before. Now, let me ask you this because I've heard that a lot of stylists don't like correcting others' mistakes. No, they don't. Mm -hmm. but, but, yeah, but because of that, you may be, you're, you're looking down the barrel of a gun when you do it, you know. Mm -hmm. If you're really good at it, then you came out a superhero. We came out a superhero. But, okay. So let's yeah. take a look at some of the before pictures yeah. and describe to us what was yeah. wrong or why she didn't like her cut and color. Yeah. When you, now, when you look at her hair, it's an, they did an ash color. Now, mm -hmm. I, also, I will say this, I never am critical of my fellow artists because mm -hmm. you don't know what they were trying to do. That's true. And, and then, uh, so anyway... Uh, it was a little bit over processed, so mm -hmm. it's kind of fuzzy. See, mm -hmm. it's kind of fuzzy at the mm -hmm. bottom, mm -hmm. and the cut is kind of rounded at the bottom, so it kind of takes the takes the style out of it. it, yeah. it see, that's kind of rounded like that. It's just sort of plain, and then they they did slices. See those brown blotches in her hair? Yeah. Well, the brown blotches are you know are, are from a slice or whatever. But mm -hmm. see, see that they're a little bit too much. See how they're kind of blotchy slices? Yeah. Yeah. But. Uh, so she wrote to you and says, I don't like this cut. She yeah. went in for a consultation. And so, Michelle, you also looked at her. And mm -hmm. what did you two come up with? What did you decide to do in order to try and fix this problem? Yes, how did you fix it? <laughs> uh, we decided we needed to brighten her up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So then we took the ash out. We added some a very light golden over mm -hmm. all of it. Mm -hmm. And then to help take out some of the dark streaks that she did not like, we added in. We did a heavy highlight through the whole, through the whole uh, head to give her a nice, bright, Glowing look. That's amazing. So that's the after picture right yes. there. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Tony uh, turned yeah, up her cut. It sounds like a little bit of difference. You know, mm -hmm. to me, I didn't even think her hair was that bad. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But she's panicked. So, mm -hmm. and the and the the gold, a slight gold. See the back of this one. See it kind of kicks up with a little bit of sass in the back. Yeah, I love it's that. It's just a lined it. I a lined it a little bit, which gave it a little bit more volume. Mm -hmm. She thought it was too flat in the back. Yeah. Yeah. And now she and she was just ecstatic when we got it. Well, done. it looks really, mm -hmm. really amazing. It, yeah. it looks really nice. Nice and the I color, you can tell the difference. Yeah. Yes, it has a golden with her skin, it yeah. brings her skin alive. Yeah. She, mm -hmm. That's why she felt drab and she, you know, she, she felt like she looked like a cadaver. <laughs> Sometimes you do, you do feel that, a little yeah. washed out. Yeah. Washed out. Yeah. Now, with all the processing that her hair. Uh, went through. Yes. Uh, uh, it's very important to use good product yeah. because mm -hmm. otherwise it might get worse, right? Yes. And then we, we added the Olaplex to the bleach. We're bleaching right. over bleached hair. And oh. Hers is super bleached. And look, I can run my fingers through it. Mm -hmm. You may not realize it, but that is an absolute miracle. Yeah. That, that I could do this to it's bleach. It's so soft. Super bleached hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see the Michelle, you color your hair a lot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. you color. It. Okay, so let's talk about some of these miracle products that you use yeah. then, because you honestly yeah. you used one on me this weekend, yes. and I haven't washed my hair since because I don't yeah. want it to go away. Is that bad that I'm telling no. everybody that? No, no, no. <laughs> but that's what you use. Yeah. Okay, so show that to the camera. Okay, Tony, what is this? Now, uh, this is a one of their super conditioners. It's called Davinus. Mm -hmm. It looks like it says Divines, mm -hmm. which is my daughter's last name. <laughs> but it isn't. It's D-A-V-I-N-H, Davinus. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the best lines I stumbled across. Is, you know, I had the Greeks, you know, I love yeah, them. Yeah. And the Greeks went out. Mm -hmm. And I found the Italians. And so. what, what you do when, before picking and choosing a product that you're going to use is that you really look into it. And yes. you really study the oh, science yeah. behind it. I'm going to fly to Italy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, it is so good that, I, that I'll do, I'll go to any lengths to it. And they, do they have all sorts of other products as well? Yeah. Because you know, I like here. being the guinea pig to yes, a here, lot of these. So what is it that you're here, putting out right now? Here, hold your hand out. Now feel how that makes your, and then you just kind of, 
You just run it through the hair? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put some on the top. Okay. Watch the shine that it produces like okay. this. And not only that, but it'll, then it, ooh, then I can add body and take out the... Thank the goodness I use dry real, shampoo, right? The real messy kind of sexy oh Italian washwoman look is the hot look. Ooh. I love it. So because my hair was very, it looked like a rat's nest, to, to be honest with you. <laughs> wow, and it feels so smooth now. It yeah. really does. So if you, it's, how important is it then, Michelle, that if you're going to process your hair, to make sure that you condition it, and how often should we be doing that? Um, at least, at least a weekly conditioner mm -hmm. is important to help okay. keep everything maintained, keep it from any damage continuing. Yeah. And, and you could definitely do that at home with this, these yeah. products. All right. Well, Tony's going to keep uh, uh, fucking with my hair here. Or no, he's going to move on <laughs> to Michelle see, now. See the shot. But if you want to find out more about the products and with Tony, this visit him over at Reflection <laughs> Salon. Uh, oh my goodness! Thank you. Yeah, Lots of great. Yeah. Oh ah. my goodness! You it's test Christmas that for me. time. <laughs> Thank you both so much, and I appreciate that you're both in pink. Yes. Oh, yeah. so oh, we forgot to say that. We, we've, we've been staying in pink all month for uh, breast cancer awareness. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. I love it. Thanks so much for being here, you You're guys. Welcome. Appreciate welcome. it. Still to come on Central Valley today, our cutie of the week. Oh, look at this. Either they're just so cute or they're just completely bored with the show. I don't know, but they're sleeping and we'll meet them next.